Namaste and hello. This is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 197. Now we will be going over Sandhi rules of the final na followed by a vowel or a consonant. The final na preceded by a short vowel and followed by any vowel is doubled. So for example, we have Prahasan Agachati that would change to Prahasanagachati because it's preceded by a vowel. And then even if it's followed by a short vowel, you have Balin and Ajayaha, it's still when it joins, it still becomes Balin Ajayaha. The final na followed by a cha or cha is replaced by anuswar and sha. A final na followed by cha or cha is replaced by an anuswar and a sha. So, for example, we have tan cha is going to be tans. So this na is replaced by the anuswar here, and then a cha is also added. Okay. And when a final na is followed by arta or a ta, it is replaced by an anuswar and a so we have dhiman, tikam, patati. So, and that ends up being dhimash, tikam, patati. So, again, this na is going to replace this anuswar and this shra. Remember, it's a half shra, and that's also represented by a shra with a halant, cerebral shra. And then finally, a final nut is followed by a ta or ta, and then it's replaced by an anuswar and a sa. Finally, the final na followed by a ta or ta is replaced by an aswar and a sa. So our last example, we have arin tardayati is going to turn to arin arin stardayati arin stardayati. So again, this na is be in arin was replaced by this anaswar and this sa over here. So with that, this these this is a sandhi rule for that involves the final na. And this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste.